Hello, Tiffany Ariel here and we are back with another hair video. So as you can see, I've already washed my hair because this is a styled version. So today I used these Fekai, Fekai um, shampoo and hair mask that I got in my latest box box from Influencer. We always love a good free product. So this shampoo is called the Super Strength Shampoo. It says it's a damage and breakage repair and it has no silicone, no sulfate, no... I don't know what this word is, phthalate, phthalate, I don't know, paraben. Um, and it says it's clean, vegan, and sustainable. So it says the vegan silicone-free shampoo powered by Camargue rice water for nourishing, repair, and strength. Um, and then the hair mask basically says the same thing, super strength treatment mask, roots to ends balm. No silicone sulfate, same phthalate, phthalate, whatever that word is, paraben. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen because I really do not know how to say that word. Um, and then it says vegan, silicone free, roots to end strengthening balm, repair hair and prevent breakage while rebuilding hair bonds, which that's actually kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to research this more to see what they mean by rebuilding hair bonds, because that reminds me of something like an Olaplex, which this is much less expensive than Olaplex. Although this is kind of small also, so, you know, there's also that. Um, so the card says um, you're supposed to have 50% less breakage after one use with longer term repair. It says it's proven to bond and seal hair for smoother, shinier, and healthier strands. And you can use it as a mask or a leave-in treatment. I rinsed it out, so I didn't use it as a leave-in treatment. I did it as a mask. Um, but that's good to know that it can be left in because sometimes if you're feeling lazy, you know. Um, it says it's safer color and keratin treated hair keratin treated hair so i'll go ahead and insert the clips now of me washing and conditioning my hair and then i'll come back and share my thoughts on the products so as you can see i am putting on gloves i do wash my hair with vinyl gloves on now um in general i just do this because it kind of just helps the hands glide through the hair more smoothly um but also in this particular case i had a couple snags on my fingernails and i definitely did not want that to catch on my hair so gloves and of course we have to wet the hair first and divide into sections. I've been washing my hair in just two sections now. That's actually saving me a bit of time compared to the four sections that I was doing before. And I am doing a little bit of finger detangling just to get out like large, you know, kind of knots prior to going in with the shampoo. So I pretty much just add the shampoo to the outside of the section. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of take smaller little sections and kind of distribute the shampoo in the middle. So this is how I get away with not needing to actually wash in such small sections. So I like to work the shampoo through my hair just to make sure I remove any buildup and you know, doing all of that. And finally we rinse. We like to shampoo twice just to make sure that everything is fully clean. After I'm done with that section, I just clip it up and then repeat the same thing on the other side.
So now that everything is all clean, it is time to condition. Don't mind me, there's just hair in my mouth. Now this I actually do in sections because anybody who has natural hair knows you cannot just take a brush to your hair and you know just try to brush through a full section that is not how this works. So as you can see I'm kind of finger detangling first and then I go in with my brush. I use the Felicia Leatherwood brush with the best. It works really well. And just twisting up that section after I finish it and repeating for the rest of my hair. All right, so that was definitely sped up because ain't nobody about to wash me, watch me wash my entire hair. But I did wanna let you guys know, that was 30 minutes. I was able to shampoo my hair, condition, detangle my hair in 30 minutes. Now I did leave the conditioner on longer. Then of course I had to style it and sit under the dryer. So the whole process was much longer than 30 minutes. But like shampoo, condition, detangle, 30 minutes. That's pretty freaking good. Um, that's partially because my hair doesn't really get super tangled these days especially since i got a trim a couple weeks ago um but also this conditioner had pretty good slip like once i applied this product i was able to kind of you know run my hands through my hair pretty much immediately and then my brush went through it pretty smoothly as well the shampoo also was kind of good like i was able to run my hair through my hand sorry run my hands through my hair while shampooing also which is really good so that told me that like this shampoo isn't like a stripping type of shampoo, which is good because 
sometimes those shampoos like you put it on your hair and even if you have detangled prior to it just like knots up your hair and it's like no I don't I don't want that I don't want that so this did not do that it was not stripping at all it didn't really dry out my hair but my hair did feel clean afterwards um I didn't have to use a whole whole lot it had pretty good lather so overall happy with this shampoo same with the mask I think the only thing I would say about this mask is I wish it were bigger like this is only four ounces whereas the shampoo is eight ounces so I'm like especially with natural hair like you know four ounces of a mask is really like nothing I probably used half of this so I'm probably only gonna get like two to three uses out of this whole bottle which is not ideal so based on that I don't know if I would buy this because like $20 for a product that I can use like two or three times is kind of steep in my opinion but it did work really well like my hair did feel hydrated after using this and I did not use any conditioner in between this and this I only used this and then this and then I applied my gel so I feel like, you know, everything works. I'm pretty happy with the products. I don't know if I mentioned this, but they are $20 each. Um, if you were to buy the conditioner, that's also $20, but I don't really feel like it's necessary. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have anything else to share about these products. So I'll go ahead and end this video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.